we just wanted to do a little video and answer some questions that we've been getting on YouTube and Facebook. And so I'm Emily and I'm Ashton and I'm Maggie and we're just excited to share our answers to your questions. <laughs> jet glue it kind of around the arch area because that's where mine breaks in most and then I have kind of really knuckly feet <laughs> and so and so the the um the box also breaks where my knuckles are and so I usually jet glue that part as well just to keep them um danceable really to keep them from dying as fast so a lot of people will do it before they even start dancing and it'll make their shoes last a lot longer because you haven't sweat in them yet um, so yeah, so if you do it beforehand, it's a lot better um, for the shoe and it just lasts longer. But you can also do it after if your shoe is starting to die, you can keep putting it on for as long as you can <laughs> make it work for it. I like really dead shoes too, so um, so I tend to wear mine for a really long time, so I like to use jet glue to make them last a little bit longer. And I used to do that. I used to wear traditional shoes when I wore Grish Kids. I did the same thing. I jet glued them before and I agree that it's... It really helps your shoes off longer if you do it before you even wear them for the first time. Um, but now I wear Gainer Minutes, and so does Emily, and so we don't use glue, and it's not really a good thing to use with the Gainer Minutes because it kind of messes with their plastic structure. But with traditional shoes, it's really helpful. Okay, so the next question that someone asks is, what is the most important thing to get accepted in a company? For example, super flexible feet or anything like that. Well, I would say that there really isn't a single physical characteristic that really matters for being in our company because what we care about most is that the dancers here are really committed to using their talents for the Lord. And we all have different strengths and weaknesses in the company, but we all come together and we really work on unifying as one. And that's part of why we all go through the training program before we're in the company because we all come in with different backgrounds and different things that were really highlighted in the studios you grew up in and then we come through the training program and we learn how to kind of gloss over some of those things that might be a little bit different naturally and then learn how to dance as a unit. Mm -hmm. um, but really what we just desire is that all of our dancers would really be committed to um, yeah, just glorifying the Lord through their dance. Mm -hmm. And so with the trainee program, you can join it um, after high school, from graduating from high school up to age 24. It's a three-year program, and so we don't really have an age limit on how old or how young you have to be to join the company, but it's a three-year program, and you just have to be registered before you're 24. And we actually have a lot of students and a couple company members from different countries, and so Coming on a visa, we have people from South Africa and Poland and Canada and China. We've had people from Japan, uh, Germany, Germany, yeah. and so it's it's really awesome to see, like what Maggie was saying, how our strengths and weaknesses complement each other, and not only um, it's like this little hub of people from all around the world that are working hard together to glorify the Lord. Okay, so now, the next question, someone asked us what our favorite thing is about performing. That is a hard one. That is yeah. hard. It's hard to pick one thing. <laughs> yeah, it really is hard to pick one. Yeah, I feel like it depends on the day for me, too. True. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I would say, like, the most constant thread is obviously the fact that we're doing this for the Lord, and it's just really sweet, especially in our pieces that are explicitly worship, like, to Christian worship music. Mm -hmm. It's always really sweet to just use our dance for the Lord in that way. Um, like I, I just remember in high school, I used to get so nervous about performing, and I was because I was so concerned with doing really well, making it look perfect. And of course, we all know we can never. There's no such thing as a perfect ballet performance. Mm -hmm. um, so it's just really sweet. The worship pieces really just help, you know just remind all of us that um, obviously we want to do our best with excellence. We desire to improve every performance, but it um, just definitely the ability to use our gifts to worship the Lord is definitely. 
the sweetest thing. But sometimes we have like funny things happen during performances. <laughs> yeah. So those are always really fun too. And that's what's fun about touring is each show is different. You know, we don't, we're not just always performing at the same theater downtown in Jackson. Like we get to travel and perform in all kinds of different places. So I kind of enjoy the fact that we never know what the stage is going to be like until the morning mm -hmm. of the show. Yeah. I think yeah. it makes it fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think it's fun. I think that the change is fun and all of that. And um, I just love performing in general. I like just the stage, the lights, the hair and makeup, obviously all that stuff is awesome. But my, I think my favorite thing about performing is that it's really doing what I feel like we are called to do. Because um, it's like we're bringing the gospel to people through dance and worshiping God through dance and um, showing people how to do that, I guess. Um, but yeah, I love talking. I love talking with people afterwards. I think that's my favorite part. Because I just love meeting different people and seeing where they're at, where they're coming from. And um, yeah, I just just love the opportunity to meet people, whether or not they're um, a Christian or, you know, just like brothers and sisters in Christ, like all across the country um, and the world. Um, or if it's someone who I like who needs to know the Lord and who really needs prayer and wants salvation. And so that's also been really cool um, to see. Um, and all just the different types of people who come to see our shows and mm -hmm. stuff, so. Yeah, I think I really enjoy um, that, that it's, for me, it's like a natural way to glorify the Lord. Personally, I just love ballet, and so performing it is enjoyable to me, but then just even coming to the end of the night and being exhausted because everything that I had, I just gave to the Lord. Like, the whole performance is an offering of worship to Him. Um, from from our point of view, that's that's why we do it. We don't we don't do it for the audience. We do it um, for the glory of the Lord. And so I think that's something that, or the thing that I enjoy most about performing, is because um, you can you can worship with singing, and that's your voice, and you can worship. Um, I mean, with everyday tasks, but but using every part and just exhausting ourselves for the Lord. I just, I'm so glad that I have the opportunity to do this. And I think the question also was, what is our favorite performance? Oh yeah. And I think that for me, that's hard. I, I like our ballets that we do. Yeah. I really enjoy them. But I think my favorite ballet that I currently get to do is our Light Has Come Ballet. Mm -hmm. I really love Deliver Us, which is the story of Moses and mm -hmm. um, Deliverance. But I love watching Hiding Place, it was the first ballet I ever watched, and so um, for me that one's always been really powerful, and I love like the story of forgiveness that it shows, and um, yeah, so I just love watching that one, but I've never done it, because I've only been here for two years now, so like, I love Deliver Us, because that was my first ballet that I ever did here, and then and then the Hiding Place was the first ballet I ever watched from that and cut, and I love it, so. Yeah, I would have to say those two are probably pretty much tied for my favorite as well. They both are so different. Like, why this yeah. one's really classical, and so I love mm -hmm. putting on my point shoes and putting on a tutu and doing pretty classical steps because we do a lot of things that aren't classical, but then I love Deliver Us because it's so dramatic and we act as slaves, um, Israelite slaves in Egypt, and so it's just really fun to get to be so dramatic. Mm -hmm. um, and another one I really liked that we don't currently tour is called The Arrival. It was just a short little opener we did. Mm -hmm. It was a collection of five worship pieces, and that was really, really fun because it was really high energy, and it was just all about Jesus' second coming and just getting prepared for that and being excited for that, and so that was always really sweet to do. Yeah, okay. I think the next one was, oh, right. Okay, so do we have any suggestions for dancers who started late in your training? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can go ahead. Then you start. You start? Okay. <laughs> um, well, I didn't start late, but one of my really good friends, actually one of the girls who dances in our company, Lillian, started really late. Um, she started when she was 14. Um, but she, and we actually were talking just the other night about things she did, and a lot of it is just being willing to like humble yourself and be with younger students and not, um, not be down on yourself in a situation, but just to really work really hard and to take every correction as if it's for yourself, even if the teacher is correcting the person next to you, but just to really apply every correction and be thinking about that. And then also just to really take every class that you can. Obviously you don't want to burn your body out, you don't want to get injured, so you don't want to overtrain, but it can be helpful um, to take a couple technique classes in a day and um, just to really 
just kind of act, pretend like you're a sponge and just soak up everything you can. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I definitely would say like going into a class like with the intent, like when, when a teacher gives you correction, being very intentional about where you're placing your body and um, being just being really mindful, um, more than just trying really, really hard. My, my One of my teachers used to say, don't just work hard, work smart. Mm -hmm. So it's knowing your limit, knowing knowing when you are gonna be overtraining, but also knowing when to push. Um, and so that just comes from like time doing spent doing it and knowing your body and realizing when your weight is off and not taking corrections personally either. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of times it's like, mm -hmm. especially if you're starting when you're older, you might not be used to kind of the really direct like, oh, fix your arm or, you know, things like that. And I think just not taking things personally, but really being like, they want to help me and they want to see me improve and I want that too. And so I'm going to take that correction um, and apply it to myself so that I can become um, better. So. And I think going off what Maggie said about being the sponge, um, and, and this applies really for anybody who's a dancer. In ballet class, you're not just waiting for that one personal correction for yourself, but, but everything that is applied or even watching other people dance, you can learn so much from watching other people and then applying all of that to yourself mm -hmm. really helps the improvement. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I even find that like watching videos online mm -hmm. of people dancing, like I used to go online and find like Natalia Osipova doing jumps or whatever, mm -hmm. and I would legitimately come mm -hmm. in the next day and I would jump higher. Like, mm -hmm. so watching really does make a difference. I think that, like, visualizing things really mm -hmm. helps. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And outside of the studio, I found um, Pilates was really, really helpful. Mm -hmm. um, I got to take a weekly Pilates class when I was in high school, and I really noticed a difference. Um, so I think even just finding some cross-training, whether it's Pilates, whether it's um, other kinds of conditioning exercises, I think those are really, really helpful just to train. Because there's some muscles that we need for ballet that ballet class doesn't really strengthen directly. And mm -hmm. so I think even, even asking your teacher for some good cross-training exercises can be helpful. Mm -hmm. Oh, will we make another Bowman of Cock calendar? Well, <laughs> you know, we don't know. Maybe you should you should let us know. Yeah. You guys should tell us if you want us to make another calendar because we're open. We're always brainstorming new mm -hmm. product ideas, new fundraiser ideas. And so um, yeah. definitely if y'all want us to make another calendar, we definitely would consider that. Yeah, um, let us know what you want to see at yeah. the product table and we'll see what we can make happen. Yeah. yeah. Okay, we have one more question. Um, so do we get paid to do our job? dancing in this company. Yeah. Well, praise the Lord. Um, he really has been so faithful to this company and he has provided when we thought there wasn't going to be a way from when the company started to now when it's grown, I don't know, five times as, as large as or more from when it started. And, and each month the Lord has been so faithful um, that all the dancers are on salary. And so we get paid, which is just a testimony really is a testimony to his goodness and sometimes it's we just get all the money from performances we have a school of the arts here we have the training program that pays tuition and sometimes that's how it works out and sometimes people just leave what's the word doing love offerings anonymous yes oh yeah <laughs> and sometimes people just leave anonymous checks mm -hmm. um basically at the doorstep and, and the lord has been just so faithful to provide for this ministry yeah well i think that's it for now but we love y'all's questions so feel free to ask us more questions and definitely let us know some of your ideas for the product table because we always like to change it up and have yeah. some fun with yeah. that so thanks so much for watching this yes, video thank you. thank you bye <laughs> bye